Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video talking about a territory standing guide and what should be your upgrade priority and what I will be doing in New World myself. So obviously during open beta, closed beta, and all of these different alphas and betas, you're going to be wanting to take XP gain every single time you get the chance. However, people have been talking about recently, should you be taking XP gain as territory standing now when the full game releases? As you know, at some point you are going to be character level 60 and that XP gain will have a completely diminishing return and have no use. Well, that's a great question and a lot of people, like I said, are asking that same similar question. But the only thing I have to say, guys, is XP gain is only offered four times times only for character level by the way yes but four times so the only thing you're going to miss out on is depending on what you want to skip out on so you know a lot of people talking about just skipping out on maybe st uh, stored space and you know some of these end game zones like morningdale uh, that may not be a big deal for a lot of people because you're going to miss 75 storage space in an end game zone and get a ton more XP for character level. So it depends how you want to kind of go about it, but I want to give you guys my upgrade priorities and what I'm going to be doing personally. So the first thing I'll say, guys, is if you actually look at uh, through the territory standing, you can see that you can upgrade all the way up until level 300 is the max territory standing in each specific territory so you can see that the final one is going to be mythic it goes all the way from actually let's read these out because this is kind of interesting to me kind of the different names you get along the way so level zero you're a stranger level one you're a newcomer level five you're known level 10 you're well known level 15 you're respected level 20 admired level 25 prominent then i'm gonna uh, go to level 35 there with distinguished level 40 with dignified level 50 with prestigious level 60 with Australius. We have also level 70 vaunted, uh, level 80 acclaimed, level 90 honored, level 100 renowned. We have level 115 esteemed, 130 celebrated, 145 famous. We have, let me see here, it looks like it kind of reset on me here. I just accidentally uh, went back to the beginning there. So after famous, we have venerable at level 160. We have revered at 175. 190, we have permanent. One, uh, or actually, it's going to be 205 now with eminent. And then we have Exalted at 220. At 235, we have Astral. And 250, we have Luminary. And then we have Fabled at 265. Legendary at 280. And then, like I said, Mythic going to be level 300. When you hit 300 and max out on a territory standing, you're obviously going to be feeling very, very good about it. And I want to jump, like I said, through all of different, the really upgrade priorities that uh, are out there right now. So a lot of people want to start with storage, going into house items, going into one level of XP gain, by the way, at level one. Then they go into faction tokens and gather speed, property tax, uh, standing gain, station fee, and trading tax. You can actually prioritize whatever you want most for that area at that time, but eventually branching out to the rest because, like I said, diminishing returns. So there is diminishing returns, and what that means is basically, you know, after a certain time, there's no point in leveling up certain... Um, well, really certain uh, XP, or not XP rates, but certain upgrade choices is what I'm looking for. So the first thing I will say, guys, is faction tokens. If you're looking at a perfect 300, this is the priority I will be taking, is faction tokens being 36, gather speed 36, house items 20, house ownership 1, property tax 35, standing gain 35, station fee 36, storage 64, trading tax 36, and XP gain 1. I may, in a couple different zones, make that XP gain. I may choose all four XP gain um, options there or upgrade options and then skip out, like I said, on storage because I think, like like I said previously, the idea that storage, you know, missing out on 75 storage space in endgame zones versus just getting to that late game quickly in some of those zones may be very, very helpful. So we'll see what I actually end up doing. But, you know, a lot of people talking about home prios having different kind of uh, prios than normal prios. So let's say if you're going to a bunch of different um, you know, territories along the quest line way and you are upgrading, you may not want XP gain, but a lot of people are going with uh, standing gain first. And I'll say standing gain is obviously a great one to get first because you are going to get to all of the other options quicker and, uh, you know, it should be very, very efficient from there. But, you know, the biggest thing is to just really kind of decide on what territories you're going to be going with XP gain versus what territories are you going to just straight up, you know, slash XP gain out. But uh, realistically, I do like standing gain being number one, depending on if you want XP gain number two or storage number two, and then going to gather speed station tax, 
storage, trading tax, faction tokens, property tax, house items. And like I said, that does depend on what you plan on doing the most and what really kind of territory you're in as well. So I just wanted to kind of kind of reiterate how big this is going to be and definitely come up with a strategy so you don't have to think about it, you know, for three to five minutes per level you know when you're running through in release so thank you guys again for tuning in if you guys have not already make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on i do plan on giving you guys a ton of new world content on release so make sure to stay tuned for it. i'll see you guys all in the next one